TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But if we do go live and you happen to miss it, man, just go to Twitch, which is right behind me. You can replay the whole live, man. But until then, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget we do got merch as well. And we also got the Patreon, which is Monday through Friday. Uh, I do owe a Patreon from yesterday, man. I was still like, I don't know what happened. It just like re-popped up. I don't know. I felt sick again. Uh, but UK Drill from prison bar from prison prison bars to chart topping stars, gotta be talking about Maza. Gotta be salute to Maza, man. Free the bro, man. He out next year or something like or two years. Let's get into this kid nerd. In the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about UK Drill dying out. A lot of Drill fans have fell out of love with the genre, mainly due to some of the. I'm 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 not gonna say I'm falling out of love. Never can't. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm I, you can't fall out of love with something that you genuinely relate to. You genuinely from that same struggle. You know what I'm saying? But but I do feel like the best artists are locked up. I've always said this. Y'all know that. <laughs> their favorite artists being locked up and people believe in that a lot of the new rappers don't feel as authentic as the old ones used to which has bred a new wave in the genre your music recorded directly from prison and weirdly enough it's kind of putting the whole scene back on <coughs> today we'll be getting into how a few different guys who are locked up together on some serious charges turn their jail freestyles into six figure label deals and singles that have charted in the top 20 let's get into it I feel like Maz has been doing this. Maybe there was other people, but I feel like the entire time that Maz has been locked up, he's been dropping music from inside a jail cell. But a lot of y'all do that. But like, I feel like he's done it so much, it finally clicked. You know what I'm saying? The Scousers, even though he's in jail, the Scousers never let that man walk alone <laughs> and, and took him somewhere he never thought he'd be from inside of a jail cell. To the top 20 on the charts is tough. <laughs> no glazing. I'm just being a hunter. Before I get into this video guys, I just want to quickly say that I really appreciate all the love and support the channel's been getting this year. So I'm running another giveaway on my Instagram for a PlayStation 5. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is follow my Instagram in the description box. Now a random winner to it. Now rapper from making music from Joe is nothing new. One no, of the no. first artists to do it was a rapper from Newham in East London called Muva. Now Muva was one of the biggest rappers to come out oh, okay. of East London in the early 2010s. But in 2014, a robbery gone wrong resulted in Muva getting a 30 year jail sentence at the height of his music career. This didn't stop him from releasing music though, because in 2017, while serving his sentence in HMP Belmarsh, which is one of the most secure prisons in the UK, he released a mixtape called Exit Wounds with certain songs recorded while in prison, which caused up a big stir on the news, labelling it as a disgrace that he was able to release this while being locked up for a murder. The mixtape was eventually pulled down from streaming services. And you know what's crazy? They could, they do this now like it's nothing. That nobody even bats an eye. But you know, move or walk so everybody else can run. <laughs> Is that Spotify to prevent any profit being made from it. And a lot of bad press came out after the mixtape got released from big news publications to deter people from supporting it. But the main thing people were wondering was how it was even possible to record a whole album while being locked in a mass security prison. Well, to Do you know how... Do you know how smart these dudes be in there? They have nothing but time on their hands to fit engineer, engineer anything. <laughs> To be honest, it's not too difficult nowadays. Now, it's not really a secret that there are a lot of phones in UK prisons. I'm not really too sure about everyone else's TikTok feed. But for me personally, at least one in every 10 videos I'm seeing right now on my feed is being filmed by somebody locked up nowadays. For whatever reason, I guess a lot of people are really interested about what goes on inside prison, which has created a whole lot of different social media opportunities for people locked in. I remember I took, uh, I did a video reacting to this and they took it down they took it down reacting to prison footage they took it down 
inside several inmates have even made big social media followings literally just by recording about their day-to-day -day life inside which they could continue to build on when they come you got self rising flour what are you in there making yorkshire puddings now now obviously phones are illegal in all uk jails and prisons which means phones need to be smuggled in through different ways in certain prisons they can simply be smuggled in by throwing them over prison walls or with drones that release them over the walls in other ways through people who smuggle them through visits but the main way is just through corrupt prison staff and officers in prison contraband items like phones and drugs are valued way more higher than they are to the outside world so smuggling them in is by become a very lucrative trade. Now throughout the last few years, we've seen numerous different drill artists post freestyles when they've been locked up. This was mainly from artists who made their name in the outside world in an attempt to keep their name buzzing while they're locked up. But in the north of England, an upcoming artist was starting to create his name from the jailhouse and his name was Mazza L20. He started posting freestyles to his YouTube channel after being sentenced to 11 years for a string of different charges. Mazza grew up in a town in Liverpool called Bootle, which wasn't the safest area to grow up in. And from a young age, he's free, bro started getting into trouble in his area. Unfortunately, Liverpool has quite a high quantity of guns and drugs throughout the city, which has caused a lot of problems in the area. With Liverpool having one of the largest ports in the UK, which is believed to have frequent shipments of guns and drugs. I, I, even the prison staff got to give it up for Maza, bro. Bro made a song, 35 remixes, and charted from inside the Come on, man. Was passing through every day. Sadly, just like a lot of other young kids in Liverpool, Mazza got caught up with the use of guns and drugs, which got him caught up in a very big case in 2016. Mazza and one of his friends called Adam Mercer were on the police radar when they were linked to a few different violent incidents around the city. Somehow, during an arrest on Mazza, the police managed to gain access to his phone, which had some pretty crazy stuff on the camera multiple pictures and videos of different firearms. Oh, bro was really outside. <laughs> okay. Arms were all recovered on the phone. Videos that Mazza allegedly firing a Russian made automatic pistol and another video of Mazza's friend Adam Mercer snooting drugs off a shotgun was enough evidence to arrest Mazza and his friend Adam on some serious firearm charges. And what made this all look a hundred times worse was one of the guns that was firing on one of the videos was used to shoot and kill a 17 year old called Kevin Wilson a few months before. This was when Mazza and Adam's relationship turned sour. Mazza believed Adam was informing on the case. So what? Oh man, Yo, Cody informing? That's tough. I, I didn't know none of this information. Well, Mazza pulled up to Adam's house and confronted him about it, which resulted in Mazza attacking Adam, adding to his charges. In 2016, Mazza was sentenced to a total of 11 years for possession. 2016 he was 11 years so he got to do personal firearms it was found out that Mazza had no link to the murder of Kevin in 2015 despite him possessing the same gun that was used which is probably a result of the weapon being sold on to Mazza after being used for that specific murder so Mazza had now been sentenced to 11 years at 19 years of age and now he had a lot of time on his hands he started to build an online presence in 2020 so so okay Bro been locked up this entire time. He never had a buzz on the streets for music. He was just a real street toter, stepper, you know what I'm saying? And made an entire music career from behind bars. He got to be the GOAT. That's that's not legendary. <laughs> what? I, I understand that there's a lot of other Liverpool artists. I'm talking about Liverpool GOAT. <laughs> there's a lot of lot of other Liverpool artists that have been rapping, but the way he did it, the way he's going about it is tough. <laughs> During the COVID nineteen lockdown, undone. which was a time where prisoners I forever remember that man were locked up twenty three hours every day to prevent the spread of COVID. This was when he started recording himself freestyling and uploading it onto his YouTube channel. Mazza had built quite a name up for himself in the north of England with these tracks, especially after jumping on tracks with notorious criminals like Wes Brown, who is very known in Liverpool. But it was in twenty twenty two when he really started. Gaining 
gaining some national attention to what he was doing when he filmed a whole music video in jail. Featuring on a track with a Manchester rapper called L1 Manny, they literally made a whole edited music video from shots they were recording with a phone. As expected, the media had a lot to say about this, which only really boosted his popularity altogether. A couple months later, Mazza would hit headlines again after he dropped a first of a new series he was creating on his channel called Daily Duppy Freestyles, which is obviously a reference to the popular Daily Duppy Freestyle series on GRM Daily. But without a lot of people even knowing it, Mazza was literally creating a whole music platform like GRM Daily, but directly for inmates. After his first JD Duppy was such a success, gaining over a million views, he started letting other inmates feature in the series, with it even being some inmates' first time releasing music to the public. A few different JD Duppies that stood out was from a few eyes coming from Birmingham, called Mans Malone, K Money, and KB, who, unlike some of the other inmates in the series, have actually built their names up on the music scene separately. Now, if you've been listening to UK rap for some time now, chances you've probably heard of KB already. He was one of the biggest rappers coming out of Birmingham in the early 2010s. But in 2013, a home invasion gone wrong cut his music career short. In April 2013, KB and his friend Blake smashed their way into a 62-year-old's house, who they believed to be high up in the drug world. When they entered the property, they tied up up the 62 year old to the floor while they searched his house looking for money. They originally demanded £50,000 from the victim but eventually lowered it to £10,000 when they realised they might have the wrong guy. The pair only ended up leaving with a fake Rolex and £150. But Didn't they get set up for that though? Somebody f finessed them into doing that got them jammed on they continue to demand money off him through text messages and calls after they released him it wouldn't take long to connect kb and blake to the kidnap and they were both charged with the crime after text messages shows kb sending pictures of the fake rolex to his contacts kb was sentenced to 11 years blake's out right and blake was sentenced to eight which was unfortunate due to him getting locked up when his career was just starting to go up kb's released from that's why i be trying to tell y'all man if it's any artists out there man and you and you thinking about doing something crazy believe you me you're closer to success than you think you see with a lot of these dudes they get locked up at the at the top of their career at the best moment at the best right before they about to blow Stop. <laughs> was highly anticipated in the rap world, but around four years into his sentence, with only a couple years left, he was hit with another serious charge, conspiracy to supply firearms. Basically, KB was being accused of being involved in setting up a delivery of a firearm in the outside world while he was locked up. This resulted in KB getting another seven years added to his sentence. Now, with KB being a big name in music while being locked up, naturally, he would get a lot of attention from other inmates in prison whether that's good or bad but a couple inmates that caught kb's attention were two other boys also from birmingham he went by the name mans malone and k money both k money and mans <coughs> had both been rapping from young they both featured in their first rap song in 2013 when they were around 13 14 but they didn't really take it too serious back then mans malone grew up in the area of birmingham called newtown and from early just like a lot of other kids in his area he got involved with a local gang called gmg who has serious feuds with a few nearby gangs like ar or arm response Mon i gotta remember we just did documentaries on this so it's fresh in my head it's all clicking right now he was starting to make a name for himself in the streets and music especially after a few unreleased diss tracks directed to ar got leaked on youtube at a time when constant back and forth situations were happening between gmg and ar in 2019 mans released his first official drill track called no hook which received a good amount of attention but soon the track could be taken down after mans was involved in the situation that would change his life forever around 5 pm on May the 6th 2019. Armed with a shotgun, Mans Malone rode a bike to the area of Hockley, which is AR territory. He arrived at Whitemore Street where he found a group of AR members in the car. Mans attempted to fire into the car, but the shotgun actually ended up jamming. No surprise.
causing Mans to make a run for it after opposition members from the car started chasing him. Mans managed to make it to the closest subway station before he was eventually caught and stabbed a total of 20 times, leaving him in a critical condition fighting for his life at a local hospital. The response to Mans getting stabbed was quicker than anyone expected. Less than 24 hours after the stabbing, while Mans was still in intensive care, GMG members were out looking for revenge. Four of Mans' friends started circling AR territory in the Volkswagen, loaded with a handgun, when they spotted a Vauxhall Corsa parked outside some shops in the Ladywood district. The group fired eight shots into the Corsa, with three of the shots hitting a passenger in the car called Dante Mullins. Dante attempted to flee the scene after the first round of bullets, but sadly, seconds after making his escape, he collapsed and unfortunately died due to his injuries. Mans remained in hospital for the next nine days preceding his attack and when he was determined to be in a stable enough condition to be released he was shocked to find out he was being shipped straight to prison from his hospital why was he shocked that was not shocking hospital bed he was now charged with the po possession of a firearm and maybe even attempted him possession of a firearm with intent to endanger oh, life to which endanger is a very life. serious crime. yeah that's not shocking though he was probably shocked like dang they got me that he got sent Dang, I'm waking up from a coma and I'm in jail. Sentence 11 years for. But despite his quite disturbing background, since Mans has been locked up, he's done something which I don't think anyone has actually done before. Mans, alongside his childhood friend K Money, who is currently locked up for a weapon and drug charges, has rose to national stardom from prison. You can't scroll through social media at the moment and miss them. Just like Mazza L20, the I've never heard of either one of them not gonna lie to you but now 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 kid nerd putting me on Hair started gaining attention after dropping a few different freestyles to Instagram and TikTok and out of nowhere a lot of big names in the <coughs> industry started supporting them but Mans and K Money really made a breakthrough when they released a cover track to Central C and Dave's hit single Sprinter. Central C reposted the cover on his Instagram story giving the two probably Oh yeah that's the that's pub right there you didn't you in the dough at that point. The biggest cosign they could have in the UK. On the back of all of his freestyle successes. Mans released an 11 track album called Maktub and critics are putting this down as one of the best albums to come out in 2023 with the help of some of his producers that start I'm telling you all the best artists is locked up I was on the beat and stack beats. The album actually feels and sounds like it was recorded in a proper studio, despite the audio just coming from voice notes on Mans' phone. The album caught a lot of attention from big figures in the music game, like Central C's manager YB's, who's proved to be one of the best marketers in the UK rap game. These connections he was making in the rap scene would soon prove to be vital when labels started showing interest in Mans to get him signed. After weighing his options out, Mans recently he signed a six figure <coughs> distribution deal where he still owns the right to all of his masters which is kind of unheard of from somebody coming <clears throat> from jail which definitely must all of this is unheard of <laughs> from anybody you know what I'm saying? Must be very inspiring to other inmates who probably now believe they could also achieve their goals. Mazza L20 has also been making big moves while still serving out his sentence after releasing probably his biggest track yet called Murder Side, with the song being remixed by some of the biggest artists in the UK rap game currently. The song has been doing so well that it charted in the top 20 of the UK charts, which is actually insane when you really yeah, think that tough. this song was recorded from a voice note in jail. The buzz these artists have created is definitely one we haven't seen in a long time and the support they're getting is against the ordinary considering the UK scene gets slated often due to a lack of support for new artists. Obviously it's important not to glamorise the prison lifestyle because at the end of the day prison is one of the lowest and worst positions you can find yourself in life but we can only hope through the artist storytelling that there could be some valuable lessons to the youth to prevent them from following the same route. These artists are- You know why their music hit different though? It's because they act, we we know for a fact that they lived what they talking about and they not capping. We know we can't we just we just assuming or guessing about these other dudes. But them we know. <laughs>
They're in a very powerful position right now, having so much influence online with a younger audience while being locked up. Hopefully they can use their platform to really make a change and stop people from making decisions in life to land them locked up as well. Naturally, I feel like off the back of their success, they're also inspiring a lot of people who are also trapped in the system, that there's a way out even at their darkest times. Mazza should be out soon, but K Money and Man still have a bit of time left. If they all play their cards right, I'm gonna go listen to K I have I no doubt that their careers will continue to flourish. Okay, it's been a boy now. kid nerd and TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Just because you feel, just because you've seen them doing it, don't get locked up on purpose now. Stop it. I'm gone.